Good morning, friends. It's Miss Bethany. How's it going today? So good to see you. Let's see if I can get my camera really good here. Oh, that's good. How have you been? I hope you're having a nice day. I hope that you had a good week and that you are enjoying some spring weather. Have you noticed any signs of spring? Like the sunshine and flowers growing? I even saw a few little tiny green leaves growing on the trees. Have you seen any? Okay, you'll have to look really closely and see if you can see any other signs of spring. Such an exciting time of year. So today, I thought we could start with a game. Have you ever played freeze dance? Have you? Let me tell you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna play us a really fun song. And when you hear the music, you can dance, you can move your bodies, you can wiggle as much as you want, but when the music stops, you have to freeze and stand super still like a statue. Can you do that? Okay, are you ready? All right, let me get some music ready. You can stand up, get ready to play. The music's gonna start and we're gonna dance, dance, dance. On your mark, get set, go. stopped. Make sure you're completely frozen like a statue until you hear the music again. And dance. Are you frozen? Be frozen, frozen, frozen. Don't move. We'll stop right there. It's a fun game, huh? Freeze dance. Were you a good frozen statue? I bet you were. Well, today in our story, we are going to hear about how Jesus, kind of like we just froze, Jesus tells the storm to stop and freeze, kind of, and be calm. It's a really wonderful story. This is actually one of my favorite stories in the whole Bible, and we're gonna learn about it today. But first, let's say a prayer, okay? All right, let me see you. Show me what it looks like when we pray. Fold your hands and bow your head. Close your eyes. Okay, let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for all of my friends here with me today. I pray, as always, that we will have good listening ears and that our hearts would be open to learn more about you and your power and your great love for us. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Awesome. Let's get started. So actually, before we learn our Bible story, I have a question for you. I have a few questions for you. I want to practice some types of weather. Okay? So check this out. Do you see some types of weather here? What is this type of weather? When you wake up in the morning and it's bright and it looks out this outside, it's sunshine. Yeah, we say, what a sunny day, right? That's a day where we can go play outside. I love sunny days. Okay, what about this, though? You know, other days, other days the sky looks gray and dark. And you need to be ready when water comes down, right? And if, if it starts to rain, right? Those days, you might want to just stay indoors. This is like cloudy. What about this one? Oh, wow. This is when the clouds start to rain. That's right. Do you have a raincoat and an umbrella? Maybe some rain boots? If it's rainy outside, you need to be ready so that you don't get all wet. Okay. What about this? You know what this shows? Have you ever looked out your window and seen things blowing around, like maybe leaves fly by. Maybe it's like this. Maybe the trees bend over. Maybe your hair goes everywhere when you go outside. This is called windy. 
Yeah, windy. Okay, let's see. Yes. Friends, God made such an interesting world. Sometimes you see lots of water in one place, like in ponds, lakes, rivers, streams, maybe the ocean. And sometimes if there's a storm, you see those dark clouds, there are big waves that form. The wind blows so hard. Do you see the wind blowing the trees? And the big waves make the sea very rough and choppy. And then, this is the best part ever, oh, when there's no wind, the water is calm and smooth and looks like glass. Do you see the difference? There's a storm and the waves are extra big. And then there is no storm and it is calm and smooth. Well, today we are gonna hear a wonderful Bible story. And in this Bible story, we are going to hear about how Jesus calmed a storm. There was a huge big storm with extra big waves. And Jesus said, stop. Are you ready to learn this story with me? Okay. This story comes from the book of Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. And I'm going to teach it to you now. Are your ears ready to listen? Okay, I hope so. Here we go. So it was evening, and it was getting close to time to go to sleep. And Jesus was tired. He had been with lots and lots of people all day long. People wanted to be near him and they wanted to hear him talk. Jesus' friends, the disciples, do you remember those guys? We learned about them a few weeks ago. The disciples, they were nearby on a big lake. They were on a boat. Their boats were in the water. And Jesus said to them, he said, Let's go over to the other side of the lake because Jesus needed to rest. He was tired. Just like you get tired and I get tired, Jesus was tired. So the disciples took Jesus out in the boat, okay? The disciples knew a lot about boats and about the lake. Some of them had been fishermen. Do you remember that? Yeah, some of them had been fishermen. So Jesus went to the back of the boat to take a nap. Suddenly, the wind whirled and swirled around the boat and the waves crashed against the side of the boat. Let me show you what it looks like. Can you see it? Can you see it? Such a big storm. You see, friends, the boat was filling up with water and was tossed back and forth like this. And the disciples were so scared. They didn't know what to do. Water was everywhere, and the boat was starting to go lower and lower into the water. It was going to sink. The disciples were afraid. Maybe they were going to die. Oh, no, they were in big trouble. Then the men looking toward them, sorry, the men looked toward the back of the boat. Do you remember who was in the back of the boat? Jesus was in the back of the boat. Jesus was quietly doing what? He was sleeping. Can you believe it? Sleeping in the middle of this big storm? He was in the back of the boat over here sleeping. Can you believe it? You see, the disciples were so scared. So they ran back and they cried. They said, wake up, Jesus, save us. Don't you care that we are going to die? So Jesus woke up. Maybe he stretched like this. He woke up, he got up. He looked at the winds and the waves and then he told the winds and the waves, quiet, be still. It happened. It happened right away. The waves stopped hitting against the boat. The wind stopped blowing. The water became calm again. Wow. 
Then Jesus turned to the disciples and he said, Why are you so afraid? Jesus knew that they didn't trust him. You see, Jesus is God. God made everything, even the wind and the waves. I'm going to say that again. God made everything, even the wind and the waves. Nothing would hurt Jesus on the boat. Nothing could keep him from doing the work of God. The disciples didn't understand. Who is Jesus? They asked each other. Even the wind and the waves obey him. Who is Jesus? We know. Who is Jesus? He is God. And who will take care of you when you are afraid? Jesus will take care of you when you're afraid. And Jesus will take care of me when I'm afraid. And Jesus will also take care of your mommies and your daddies when they are afraid. You see, the disciples learned an important lesson that day. Jesus used the storm, the very, very scary storm, to teach them, do not be afraid, because Jesus was with them and would take care of them. We know that Jesus is always with us. Today, Jesus is with us all the time, even though we can't see him. Isn't that an amazing story? Don't forget, friends, that Jesus needed to get away and take a rest. And the disciples sailed on the boat while Jesus slept. A violent storm scared the disciples. And they said, wake up, save us. But Jesus said, be still. And he calmed the storm. And he calmed their fears. Isn't that an awesome story? I think so too. All right, let's practice our memory verse. It's from John 17. Do you remember it? Okay, I'll remind you. It says this, your word is truth. You try it. Your word is truth. Very good. You see, what God says is true. He tells us he will take care of us, and he will. It is true. Let's say it one more time. See if you can say it without me, okay? John 17, 17. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to listen. Okay, let's practice our catechism questions. So we are going to do one, two, three, and four today. Are you ready? Okay, here's the first one. Who made you? Who made you? God. Good job. Here's the second one. What else did God make? God made all things. Good job, say it with me. God made all things. Excellent. Here's the third question. Why did God make you and all things? Why did God make you and all things? For his own glory. That's right, say that one more time. For his own glory, excellent. All right, here's the fourth question, are you ready? Last one for today. How can you glorify God? That means how can you bring him glory? How can you glorify God? By loving him and doing what he commands. Say that one more time with me. By loving him and doing what he commands. Excellent, friends. That was so wonderful. Thank you for learning with me today. And don't forget... If you feel a little bit scared this week, remember what the disciples learned when they were on that boat. They felt scared, but they learned that Jesus was with them and he took care of them. And in the same way, Jesus is with you 
and he loves you and he will take care of you this week and every single day, which is the best news ever. I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope I get to see you next week. Talk to you soon. Bye, friends.